Hi, and welcome to the demo video for Spoke's floor plan tool. The floor plan tool is going to be used to visualize a space from a bird's eye view down and make sure everything fits in the space to scale um, and the layout is exactly how you want it. So let's dive in. Um, whenever you start a floor plan, you're going to be prompted to choose a room shape. Um, definitely, we have the option to draw walls as well, but I definitely recommend um, starting with room shape as it's a really good way to just like get a complete space drawn and ready to go. Um, so from here, you'll, you can either drag all the dimensions at once um, or drag each wall individually. So like my space is 15 feet by 10, 11 feet. Um, and then you can kind of move it around to make sure it's kind of centered on the canvas and then make sure to click confirm once you're happy with it. Um, once you've drawn your walls, you'll see the option to fill the plan. Um, from here, you can just uh, check through some of our stock flooring options or upload your own if you want. Um, I'll go ahead and use this herringbone pattern. Um, and then you can change the, set, the scale of the pattern to make sure it's just right. Um, once you're happy with that, you can then start adding um, assets, which is most of what you're going to be doing in this tool. So assets are going to be everything from structural items to furniture. Um, it's how you're going to represent the pieces in your space. So I always like to start with structural items like doors. So you just click on it, add it to the plan, and then you can either stretch it on the plan or update the dimensions by clicking on the dimensions tool and typing them in manually. So this door is three feet wide by three feet deep. Um, and then you can just drag it down to any wall and it's going to automatically snap to that wall depending on where you drag your mouse. So that looks good. You can continue adding structural items like doors and windows. And then once you're happy with that, you can then jump into furniture items. You can filter the list specifically by um, choosing from here or just searching in the uh, keyword search. Um, so I'm looking for a sofa. I'll go ahead and take this three seater. And then if you want to, you can always change the dimension option. Like if I know that this is an 84 inch couch, I'll go ahead and choose 84 and then um, it's 30 inches deep. Um, and then I actually don't need to show how wide it is. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll go ahead and toggle the labels off so that the dimensions aren't showing in the plan. Um, once I'm good with that, um, you can then start editing the asset here. So this one, this couch is facing the wrong way. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it using the vertical flip. Now we've got it facing the right way. And then I will also change the fill just to add a little bit of color to my plan. So this is like a nice dark green sofa. So I'm gonna choose green on the color picker and then just drag it around until I'm seeing the color here that um, looks close to the couch that I'm um, planning on for the space. Once I'm happy with that, I actually have two sofas in my space. So what you can do is just click, you can either use Command C and just copy and paste, or you can click these three dots and just click duplicate. And it's automatic, automatically gonna duplicate it on your plan. So um, we can go ahead and now um, use the rotate tool to rotate this 90 degrees um, to the right. And then I'll just lay it here. So now I have my two couches all ready to go and you can kind of keep searching and scrolling and finding different asset options. Um, Otherwise, we've got the elements tab here, which is gonna be where you can add anything else from like text to designate um, different areas of your plan or shapes to um, add things that maybe there weren't assets for. Um, something I really like to do is um, add like the actual image of the rug that I'm planning to use for the space. Um, so let's jump into the spoke product feed. This is gonna be where you find all sorts of different rugs or sorry, all sorts of different products um, that have been uploaded into spokes product feed. Um, I was searching for this yucca rug and it did come up here. So if you just click on it, it's going to drop right onto your plan. It does still have the background. So we definitely want to remove that to make sure that the rug itself is actually to scale. So I'm going to use the background tool and then the magic tool to fully remove the background. And once I've done that, I'll go ahead and edit the dimensions. I'm going to jump back into feet as my measurement um, so that I can make this a nice, easy eight foot by 10 foot rug. Once I've added those dimensions, I can then go in and um, rotate the rug. I can do it freehand here right on the plan and then just kind of center it right where I want it. Once I'm happy with that, I'll use the layer tool to send it to the back. This way the rug is laying underneath the sofas and anything else I've added to the plan. One other thing I'll show is the ruler tool. This is gonna come in handy when you're making sure there's enough space between things or if you wanna measure exactly where you want to put like the door on the wall. So I'll use, the draw ruler tool here to measure out um, about two feet. And then once I'm happy with that, I will just bring it up on the wall here and then I'll drag my door over so that my door is now exactly two feet from the wall. If I'm happy with that, I can just delete it or leave it on the plan if you want to designate it. You can also make sure that um, the distance between two objects is enough. So I'll choose this measure objects distance, 
choose the wall here and then the sofa. I want to make sure there's enough space between. And I can see I have almost five feet of space here. So I'm pretty happy with that um, dimension, plenty of space to add something else here. Um, so I'll go ahead and delete that once I'm happy. Um, otherwise, you can always upload your own products or upload your own images using the upload tool. Um, but from there, it's kind of like rinse and repeat. And you just keep adding and editing assets until you've really kind of built a nice visual to scale um, plan for your space.